Welcome to the sixth Leica GS07 quick start video. This video focuses on getting used to jobs within Leica Captivate, starting with how to create a new job. We do this from the home screen by tapping or pressing FN to access the second level of function keys and then selecting new job. We are then taken to the new job panel allowing us to fully define our desired job. We'll start on the general page tab where we can enter our job name, my first job. If desired, we could also enter a description and a creator. Additionally, we can set where the job is stored, if the job should be visible in the home screen, and if we want to be prompted to add a photo to use as a job's image. We shall leave these in their default state. Next, we'll look at selecting a coordinate system. We can page across to the coordinate systems page tab, and then click into the coordinate system field. Here, all preloaded coordinate systems are shown. It is a long list, so the best thing to do is search by entering the code of our desired state or province. For example, GA for Georgia. Then we can highlight our desired coordinate system and press OK. Next, we will look at selecting a code list. We do this by paging to the code list page tab and then clicking into the code list field. Here, any installed code lists are displayed. We simply select the one we want and press OK, sample code list. Next, we can look to store the job and add an image. Although there are other page tabs allowing us to link jobs and files to the job we are creating or to edit advanced job settings, we do not need to do any of this for basic jobs. And so we can simply press store to finish defining our job and have it created for us. Before we are taken to the home screen, we are actually taken to the Capture Image panel where we can take a photo to have it used as our job's image by pressing Capture and then Store on the Image Viewer screen. We are then returned to the home screen where our new job is displayed front and center with our captured image visible. Next, we will look at picking which of our jobs is the active job. In other words, the job where we will store data to. This is actually very simple as whichever job is front and center in the job carousel is set as the currently active job. To demonstrate this, we can drag the carousel until the default job is in the center, making it the active job. Next, we can look at accessing and using the job specific menu. This menu is held on the back of each job tile, so all we need to do is tap the job to turn it around and access its menu. From here, we can check the job properties, view its data, complete import, export and transfer tasks and even delete the job which is exactly what we'll do here with this empty default job. With the default job deleted we have then returned back to the home screen from where we can bring this video to a close. Thank you for watching.